so here is the official website of potabi linux distro so here you can go with the about and get all the information so technologies development is a company dealing with the open source software so you can get all the information right here i'm going to show you the downloading process go to the products here is a core ns ngs and here is a portable potabi systems a powerful desktop mobile operating system designed for secure enterprises and personal use potentially and ability pretty powerful so let's click on uh, those things which is a uh, potabi systems so here is some of the information if you want to get all the information you can get it you can click on the release notes and you should be seeing the release notes so it says wiki not found and in order to download you can click on free download desktop and here is the optional purchase of uh, potabi systems and download mobile so i downloaded the free download desktop so this is the downloading process of potabi linux or the potabi systems so today we are making a video on the potabi linux or potabi lumia so here is the boot menu so i'm going to auto boot this uh, linux distro and it's going to take like a four or five minutes to boot up the desktop layout so I'm running it on a virtual machine which is uh, VMware with a 60 GB of hard disk, 8 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5-1240p. So let's wait for a few seconds and uh, it should take like a 3 or 4 minutes usually when uh, I run almost every Linux distro in my PC. But uh, it, it, it's going to take like a few more minutes because I already tried it. So it's going to take a few more minutes like a 4 or 5 minutes. So we need to wait and uh, let the desktop layout load and I'm going to continue there. So here is the login screen. So you need to just click on login and it will be automatically logged in. So here are other options like a desktop environment is a Lumina and uh, here are some accessibility date and time and all those things. So let me log in. And it's going to take a few seconds and we should be seeing the desktop layout so it will complete and uh, this thing will take like a two minutes usually so i'm going to wait for the two minutes and let it do its work and we should be seeing our desktop environment so it's going to be stopping on the finalizing for two minutes so that's the reason i am saying it's a uh, two minutes so let's wait and see So here is the desktop layout which is a Potabi systems wallpaper and I'm going to show you all the applications which are uh, pre-installed in this Linux distro. So on the development you have two applications under network you get the browser and the internet is not working so that's it. So here are some of the settings which is a bit of customizable uh, applications and here is the system and the utility. So these are all the things you get in the uh, Linux distro. So which is a Potabi system so with a Lumi, Lumina. So the internet is not working. So let's open the browser. Let me show you. Launch Firefox web browser. So I'm going to show you the official website and downloading process. I'm going to put that video in the beginning and uh, I'm going to edit all those things. So you don't need to worry about the uh, downloading process and the official website. So here you can uh, say server not found. So internet is not working. So let's see what was it of the Firefox. About Firefox, you get the 94.0.2, which is pretty much old. So the latest version right now is a 120.0.3. So let's try to type in some about and support to get some distro information and uh, some browser information. About support and we see the let me show you so it says build id as uh, 2021 and uh, it's a 2021 version and uh, let me scroll it down and here you should be seeing some other information so these are some different information if you want you can uh, pause the video and read everything so I'm going to scroll it down and here is other information. So window protocol is a X11 
and the desktop environment it says uh, unknown because the desktop environment is called as Lumina so these are some other information so the display resolution right now is 1024 into 78 so I'm going to show you the uh, resolutions also so here is the complete information so the internet is not working so I'm not going to uh, show anything here so here is the theme let's uh, open the terminal let's try some commands let's uh, try to find the kernel uname dash a hit enter so he, here you should be seeing freebst freebst in point zero and uh, let me try the inxi command not found so let me type in uname so freebst uname dash r 13.0 stable neofetch command not found so i'm going to close it let's uh, go with the desktop configuration so basically there is nothing in this linux distro and uh, i'm going to show you the information in the beginning i'm going to put those uh, clip in the beginning so here is the theme so style you get the fusion and windows let me change it to windows activate palette. i'm going to click on up. here are the fx fonts icons general styles desktop styles so pretty much you don't get anything in this linux distro so i didn't know how it performs so that's the reason i tried this linux distro and i never made a video on this linux so that's the reason i'm making a video and also i covered almost like a 3000 uh, videos of uh, almost every type of linux distro so if you want to check it out you can check it out in my channel and also i'll be posting two videos daily without missing if you want to check it out and if you want to subscribe you can do that so here are some of the options to customize let's go to back to settings so it's kind of a bit of laggy also it's taking a bit of time and there is a bit of lag as you can see let's try to make the video like this so here are some of the settings like a keyboard shortcut let's get to the settings again and it is taking a lot of time here system settings general options user settings again these are all the basic things so if you want to customize you can do all those things let me close it so if you're a normal user don't even try to use this linux distro if you're a distro hopper you can try this linux the virtual machine but if you're a normal user who want to uh, install a new Linux distro on the main PC or work PC, it's not a good Linux distro for you. You can try other Linux distros. If you want, you can watch my videos or you can search uh, in the Google or in your uh, search engine. And also you can watch other videos if you want uh, a new Linux distro PC or work PC. But Linux distro is not for you because it's not uh, well known. And also we don't have any information about this Linux distro. So whatever I know in the about this Linux distro, I'm going to edit the, and uh, put that clip in the beginning of the video. I'm going to do the official website the process and all those things. So here is the Lumia theme. Let's uh, launch the Lumia theme engine. So again, you get these things. Let's close. Let's go with the applications. And now as you see, it's not nothing. Let's try to click again applications nothing is working so it's taking a lot of time also on application utility we have nothing here you have the lumia search and i think we can search anything here for example let's uh, try the firefox firefox and as you can see the browser pop up here you can launch your item here let me close it so i don't i never bought this desktop environment also so it's a new thing for me also 
settings so you don't get any bluetware application or anything but uh, if you want to try it you can try it in the virtual machines don't try to install or do some like that so there is no installation also so pretty good thing uh, if you are a normal user who wanted to try so you can install also so that's a good thing so here is the desktop inf information so desktop version 1.6.0 os build free bsd qt version you can uh, view the let's click on it here so you get the 5.2 i'm going to close it let's click. and utility is campton let's open it system desktop information here is the community support let's see what opens to open the website and i think it's going to take you to the website and uh, do some things you can post something there so right now the internet is not working so i need to make another video how to download and all those things i'm going to put that video in the beginning so literally there is nothing in this linux distro you can't even open the file manager so i think i'm going to end the video because i thought there will be some. i just saw the desktop and it was working so i i tried to make a video i didn't do anything in the beginning so that's the test i made i didn't saw i didn't see anything uh, i just uh, booted the linux distro i thought it will be a good linux distro but right now there is nothing uh, available also i didn't see even the what applications are pre-installed uh, in the beginning so when i started I, I was feeling like uh, there is nothing in this Linux issue so however I tried to make a video so there was no content also for me so this was the new Linux distro so I'm going to make the, a video on it so here is the video so my final thoughts are there is literally nothing in this Linux distro if you are a normal user it's better to go with some uh, good Linux distros because I want you to ruin your PC so that's the reason but if you are a distro hopper you can even try this on the virtual machines uh, try to do all those things whatever you want in this next show try to test it if it's uh, internet is working do let me know in the comment section if it's not then uh, do let me know in the comment section it will help others also so right now there is nothing working and uh, you can't install anything so i'm going to end the video here i'm going to click on leave let's go i already So I'll be posting another video. So if you want to check that out, you can check it out. So here is our live boot. So the Linux distro is called Potabi Live User. I already showed all those things. So I'm going to end the video here. Again, thanks for watching. Peace out.